Hi, this is Mark with safedaytrading.org. And if you'd like to get free information on how to safely trade day trading activities, stop in and get free information at safedaytrading.org. Again, that's safedaytrading.org. Today with me I have Matt Emerson, who is the principal of OREX. Hey, Matt, how are you? Hey, Mark, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, um, before we go too much further, can you define what uh, what ORATS is? <laughs> sure. Uh, it's a funny name, but it stands for Option Research and Technology Services. ORATS, uh, we sell option data and uh, option tools to uh, traders and uh, end users of option information. Okay. And Matt, how did you get to be the principal of the company? Uh, the long story is I went to Chicago for graduate school. I'm a finance guy and went to the floor of the SIBO and was a market maker and was successful down there. I backed traders, which is you put capital in their accounts and they go trade. And then uh, we developed a lot of proprietary information, including forecasts of volatility and it was popular with some of the other market makers, so we rolled up ORATS in uh, the early 2000s, and we've been in business ever since then. Uh, I bootstrapped it, so I'm the principal, and just used my training profits to uh, start the, the research firm, and now we have you know, many of the top pension funds, top banks, top exchanges use our data, all the way down to people trading in their basements. Wow, and are you... Um, I know you've been on a couple of mainstream media um, broadcasts as well, right? Yeah, so we're regularly on the Option Insider radio network, and we've been you know, on Option Brew, which is Tradier Brokerage's uh, presentation, and, and we're interviewed often by the Wall Street Journal, and uh, recently Reuters put our, uh, our quote in a couple of days ago. Wow, great. A lot of exposure, huh? Well, people are hungry for options data, and we have what we think is some of the best out there. We're able to really slice and dice the uh, skews and the option markets and, and let people know what's going on. For example, recently, a lot of buyers have been in the way out of the money calls, so a call is a bet to go, for the stocks to go up, and a, a lot of these... Robin Hood types and, and even some of the, the it's rumored to be SoftBank, a big uh, hedge fund, are buying these way out of the money calls and we uh, have excellent charting uh, that's on our uh, front end to show uh, how that has affected the pricing of those options, Mark. Uh -huh. And um, your analysis is U.S. equities and options only or is there other things you do? Yes, we uh, sell U.S. equities options on you know, ETFs and indexes like SPX and BIX are included. Um, we do have some international dividends, and we sell a, you know, a forecast of dividend file, but mostly it's yes, as you say, U.S. equity options. Okay. And uh, what's the process for, uh, if you could share a little bit, of, if it's not a secret, What's the process for the analysis of, um, let's say, out-of-the-money options? Well, uh, our whole process starts with, you know, we're, we're uh, subscribing to the feed of all the options, and there's an immense number of options, and we can process that very quickly. We're in the cloud, and we do this parallel processing. So we're able to really uh, clean and summarize what's going on in the what we call implied volatility. Implied volatility is what the uh, traders of options expect the movement in the stock to be over a certain amount of time. So we are able to identify that, say how uh, that, and what people do is they watch all these particular strikes underneath a stock price. So uh, if a stock price is 100, you might have strikes from 50 to 150, and those all change and as those those relationships change that's called a skew of the 
options, and, and we could really watch that very well because of our summarization and, and air cleaning techniques. So that's a lot of, of what we're doing and, and why we're able to, to put out such quality information, Mark. Okay. And do you, um, you mentioned that you do a lot of, or you do uh, retail uh, clients too, is that right? Yes, we do, and you know, especially with the, the the great interest that we've been seeing in options, you know, ORETS has a way to. We we came up with a back tester, and it was really to prove out the efficacy of our forecast. But we've developed a back tester, and it's really got a life of its own. A lot of retail like to come in, and, and it's almost like practice training. So we like the approach of of a rules based uh, approach, and, and back testing can give you that. And it really takes a lot of the emotion out, and, and it gets uh, you some discipline in the trading. And if you know what your back test looks like and you've tested it out of sample as well, you can have a lot more confidence in the strategy that you're, that you're trying to implement. And, and we find that a lot of retail see our back testing as a good informational source, an educational source, so they can learn a bit about how their profit – changes as the market and the stocks move, and it, they're able to see what uh, investment objectives are met by various strategies. So uh, that's what retail is using quite a bit. And once they get a, a rules-based approach, we have online tools that you can scan for those particular options meeting your criteria and alert you when there's an exit. And we even have some auto trading uh, for the people that are more experienced with our uh, tools that you can uh, you know, start to automate when, and get signals when uh, your strategy would want to buy and, and sell a particular uh, option. Or... Okay. And I would assume that the retail guys are doing multi-leg option trading. Is that right? Yeah, so our back t tester has been – in service for about 10 years, and we can handle almost any requests that people have. Um, it, it, uh, we have uh, all the typical for, uh, strategies, option strategies, uh, you know, long call, short put, uh, and then two legs, you know, verticals and calendars and three legs like butterflies and put spread calendars, <laughs> and then uh, four legs are like iron condors. So we have... Uh, all those off the shelf, and you could also combine uh, various strategies and see what the uh, the return statistics are. For example, annual return, sharp ratios, win loss, uh, drawdowns, etc. So, yeah, we cover all the, the the major strategies, but it's also uh, customizable, so you, so people can get in there. Uh, strategies. You, you'd be surprised to hear how many uh, odd strategies people have, Mark. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I've, dealt with, I've dealt with a lot of students, and, you know, everybody has their – everybody is unique in terms of how they do stuff. Now, your simulation, I would assume you cover monthly. Uh, you, this, you go on the strike price, you go out monthly or further out than that, I would assume, too, right? Yes. As a matter of fact, some of my strategies that I use personally use uh, long puts in the indexes out, you know, 500 days. So there, we, we go anywhere. We have all the weeklies and the, all the expirations. So, so now you can – there's an expiration almost every day in some of these stocks, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what are the big boys – what do the big boys use you for? Same so, for thing? example, a pension fund – what what happens with pension funds is is someone will come into a pension fund and say, "Hey, listen, I have a great strategy for you. Here's uh, the back test, and here's how we've uh, we've modeled it." And then so a pension fund will say, "Well, let's use ORATS to corroborate that strategy." So we you know we are used in, in that respect. We're used to develop strategies that meet the uh, the big boys. As you say, the, their investment objectives, um, and w we have uh, you know, consulting services that we often provide. Actually, we provide those to retail as well, where we will go in and test thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of strategies in order to pick out what are the best 
you know, strikes to trade? What are the best exit criteria? What are the best triggers like technical indicators or volatility indicators in which to trade? So we do a lot of that type of analysis for these companies. And, and you know, the, uh, we don't publish who our clients are, but it is kind of a who's who of, of the top option trading firms out there, Mark. Okay. And do you um, do you provide at some point, do you have experts or consultants that provide maybe suggestions of, of good trades that they're, they're looking at or? Yeah. So we're an RIA um, and we, we don't in mass uh, say which are, what are good trades, but we do have consulting services. So we do mostly focus on strategies rather than just one or one offs or two offs. We like, we like having uh, an option u- uh, usage in your portfolio as more of a uh, long-term rules-based, you know, if this happens, then do this and test it out. And then so, you, you know, so you don't always have to be, you know, looking to someone else or trying to figure it out yourself. You know the strategy that, you, that you're going to implement. You have an ex- expectation of what the returns should be and what the risk is. And then you could go ahead and trade a little more confidently more. Okay. Um, and I would assume you do this not only with pensions, but probably trust, big trust too. Yeah, we have a lot of wealth uh, advisors, family offices. Uh, we have a lot of uh, RIAs that come in. We have, uh-huh. uh, you know, like I said, hedge funds and even uh, even banks use us. And then for some of the data, you know, the exchanges will buy our data from us, especially like our dividends. Uh, we have a lot of earnings analysis. So, uh, yeah, so that's how that's used, Mark. Okay. And do you um – one of the questions I've always I've always heard not questions but one of the things I've always heard is that um, usually first and second quarter are the most aggressive for the big boys in terms of making profits and trying to hang on to that for the second third and fourth is that true? That's so funny that you mentioned that because uh, that was definitely true when I was a trader on the floor. That was true of all the traders down on the floor. I don't know why that that, that is, but, it, you know, we'd make our, uh, you know, it seems like 75% of our profits were in uh, January, February, and March. So, yeah, I, I would agree. It's funny that you mentioned that because uh, I don't think about that much, but uh, that's definitely what was true. Um you know, probably not so much for, you know, retail, but institutions, you know, I think that is the case. Yeah, I, I had heard that a while ago, and uh, I was kind of wondered, um, you know, if it was true or not. So you was, you're you also then trading um, from the information that you get from ORATS too, right? So, yeah, I'm the tester of our uh, inform, information and our tools. So, I, you know, I do have... Uh, you know, a, per, a personal trading account uh, that I use mostly to test uh, the tools that, that we're doing. Like I said, we're, we're developing a uh, or a, a more complexity into our auto trading, so I'm testing that. We have a scanner um, that's uh, quite un- unique um, with a lot of uh, different uh, uh, tools to analyze whether uh, the trade, how to compare certain trades under certain rules. So I, I test that. Uh, we have uh, one of the things that's really important to me, especially as an ex-market uh, maker and an owner of a trading firm, is risk analysis. So we have a tool that uh, puts your entire portfolio, all your, your uh, positions in terms of the uh, SPY, for example, and you can uh, you can model what we call the uh, payoff diagram. Like, what that means is, what's my the value? How does the value of my portfolio change if the market goes down five percent? Uh, how do I look if it goes up ten percent? What if it's down three okay. standard deviations? How how am I looking at how profitable or what's my loss at that point? So. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm testing and I'm uh, 
putting a lot of things that I like to have in there in our uh, in our trading application. I've been at this since the the 90s, so I've I've seen many uh, research firms and, and platforms, and so I, I'm putting all the best things in ours. Okay. And um, training. How do you train people? How to use your system? Or you've got a fairly comprehensive training area, or what? Yeah, so we put out videos, training videos. Uh, we have uh, tutorials. We have an active blog. With any any question that I get that we haven't answered yet, I try to put on that blog. And then, uh, you know, I'm available as are some of our uh, other uh, people at ORETS to uh, walk people through. We usually start people off with a, uh, a quick demo, but often they don't need it because it's, it's pretty self-explanatory once you – uh, uh, watch a video or, or uh, read a blog on on what they can do, and then you know we're we're always supporting with emails. What if I do this or that um, for back testing? You can paste in a URL of the back test that you're running and ask questions about how how do I do this or or that. So um, people get up and going. You know, I, I admittedly it's. It is kind of the next step. It's not a Robin Hood. It's a, you know, it's something that you, uh, you know, have to spend some time with, just like any educational tool. But it's going to pay off in the long run. It's the things that I think you need in order to be successful out there in the options space, Mark. Okay. So um, forums. Um, well, it sounds like yeah, you just kind of answer it as the questions come in, huh? Yeah. So we. Um, we have a an active blog, and we do webinars. Uh, I've done uh, webinars for, for many uh, websites and, and uh, other types of platforms and such. So that's how we'll and we'll, we'll alert our users when we're going to have a webinar, uh, and and usually that's the way that we like to uh, go in and present things, and then also answer users' questions. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go off a little bit on the bunny trail here. Uh, one of the interests I have is theta trading, theta option trading. Do you guys support something in that area? So theta uh, refers to the amount of premium in an option that will change over one day. So if you're short an option, uh, usually that, that theta will be positive, so you will get, meaning you will get money. And if your theta is negative, then you're paying out money. So what, you, what people usually talk about uh, with theta and theta burn is trying to be on the good side, meaning uh, selling options. Uh, and so definitely a lot of our back tests uh, include selling options. I'm a big proponent of, of being uh, at least unit neutral. So if you're a short one, be long another one. That's called the spread. So we can model out what the uh, the exact theta is. Uh, we have that theta as one of our uh, calculations, and you, you know, in back testing, it's very interesting to see because it's always a trade off. If you're in effect, you're selling insurance and, and you're not wanting to pay an insurance uh, premium, <laughs> and so uh, you can see in back testing, it's it's not only theta, but it's it's which theta can you really keep. And that's what oh, why I think back testing is good for that mark. Okay, I, I'm sorry I deviated a little there. I I've always had an interest in it. And I, I think there's an opportunity, but uh, I haven't had a chance to follow up on it. So um, let me think. I think that about covers it. Is there any other uh, products or anything else that uh, ORAT provides uh, at all, Matt? Yeah, I mean, and just back to your, your theta question, Mark. I mean, I, I agree. There are some uh, definite um, uh, anomalies out there, but it's not just blindly selling. You know, often, you know, it helps to have uh, the underlying asset if you have some ways to analyze that and find, you know, a, a, your own niche. Like, is it, a, you know, is it a less volatile stock and how, do, how can you tell what it's going to be coming up? A lot of our... Um, a lot of our data downloads are people modeling out these types of things, and people use this for machine learning and other types of things. But, you know, identifying those types of stocks 
uh, and scanning for those. We have scanners, but you can also um, access our data directly through our APIs. That's a very popular way to get at us is uh, if you're a programmer, you could, you could get just immense amounts of data and then model these things out, you know, for yourself. And then you could also use us at, for tools, online tools. And, you know, again, I mentioned charting. And, um, you know, one of the bigger things that we do is, is provide a theoretical value for each option. So that's really important to use when you're, uh, when you're trading. So those are the main tools that we have, Mark. And like okay. I said, you know, what ORETS does is, is brings our institutional quality options to, uh, to regular traders. Sure, sure. Um, okay, Matt, well, we're running out of time. Um, how do people get uh, find out about ORATS? So ORATS.com is our website. Blog.ORATS.com is where we have a lot of uh, tutorials and, and information. And you could reach me directly at Matt, M-A-T-T, at ORATS, O-R-A-T-S.com. Happy to uh, you know provide you some more links and information to what, what we do. Uh, and, you know, I think ORETS is a great spot to come and, and take the next step uh, in your option education, Mark. Okay, yeah. It sounds like it would be a great place to, uh, to develop the strategies, like you say. Absolutely, well, and learn more about them and, um, and then be able to simulate them and match up your expectations of what your – uh, investment outcomes are with, with what has been tested. Yeah. yeah. Matt, thank you for your time, and uh, I appreciate the information. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, Mark. Anytime. Thank you. This is Mark Stowers with Safe Day Trading. Talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I want to mention, too, that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me uh, questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.